Hello, welcome. Today we're going to learn how to access valuable analytics data for your course and students in Canvas. Uh, first thing that you'll want to do is from the course homepage, click on the new analytics button. Notice this pop-up window here. This is available in many places in Canvas. It can give you helpful information about wherever you are in Canvas, as well as linked uh, links to useful Canvas guides on the specific area that we're at. We can collapse it though. All right, on this page, we're going to see that there are four tabs across the top here. Uh, course grades, weekly online activities, students, and reports. Under the students tab, we can see at the top here a current average uh, course grade, what the course grade for all of your students is at any um, time in history or at a specific time in history whenever you check this. And then we can also see a graph that shows us how the class is done on various graded activities within the class. If I, um, we see that there are different icons that represent different activities. So this is an assignment icon, discussion icon, a quiz icon. Um, if I were to click on a specific point, I can get additional information on that specific activity. Under the weekly online activity tab, we can see page views and course participation by date. If I click on a point, I will reach additional information. And if I scroll down a little, I can see information about page views and participation by resource as well. Here's that. So for example, I can see that quiz one has had um, 14 page views and 14 participations by uh, four of my students. Under the students tab, I get information about specific students. I can see uh, their grade. I can see if they've submitted anything late, when their last page view was or participation was, uh, how many total page views they have and their total participation as well. So I can compare these to other students and see, you know, if one student has significantly less than other students, maybe I want to reach out to them and talk to them and see what's going on. Oh, one other thing I want to mention is notice that I have this little text bar here. If I click in here, I can um, filter by student. So if I just wanted to see Alice, for example, I can do that or I could um, check another student as well and just compare those two if I wanted to. Click out on them and reach back uh, to everyone. And then lastly, let's talk about reports. These are the various reports that you can run. Notice we have this um, I with a circle around it icon. If I click on that, it can give me some additional information as well, which I see here. And then I can run these reports and obtain those reports as uh, CSV files, which can be opened with Microsoft Excel. Um, a few notes, uh, the Canvas Analytics updates um, information every 24 hours, so it won't be of the minute. Um, some data requires the student activity to populate, and it's important that you understand what um, Canvas um, considers participation and page views, as it may not be necessarily what you might um, define page views or participation as. So I'm going to very quickly read um, what Canvas um, defines those as. And so for uh, page views, Canvas says, because, because page view data is based on requests to the server, the number of page views may be greater than what you traditionally think of as page views. As a result, page view data should be used as a good approximation to student activity and not an absolute metric. This data is most valuable when seeking to understand if activity did occur and as a means of comparison across students within a course or when viewing trends week to week. And then for participation, Canvas says several actions define participation in Canvas and collectively describe events where a user takes an action within a course. Canvas tracks participation for both students and instructors and reports participation in Canvas course analytics. Um, for uh, just student participations. The following student actions will generate analytic course participation. Announcements, such as a post to a, uh, um, a, a comment to an announcement. Assignments, such as a submission of an assignment. Um, a discussion, so when a student um, comments on a discussion. 
um, when they submit a quiz, um, and also when they start taking a quiz. So that's it. Now you know how to access and use the TANIS uh, new, new analytics and um, how you can use that to support student success.